Hello everyone, Callie Stormdahl here, and today we're going into the world of Come For Arts. Now, Come For Arts is a new brand and it's based in China. I actually made this purchase through the website called toyopen.com. I was a little bit nervous, I'm not going to tell you guys any lies, I was a little nervous when I was ordering through that company because it is a website that I'm completely new to. But after my experience with them, I would definitely order through Tour Open again. Now this is Come For Arts Pet Hospital Series. This is um, what we will call in America a blind bag series. But, you know, China is very inventive and they're always ahead of the game. So they've come up with something called a blind can series. So yes, we have six cans here and we're going to open them up and we're going to see what's inside. Now, the thing with this series is that we do have a whole case. But the interesting thing about this series is that there's a chance that one of the main six characters will be replaced with a surprise character. So these are the main six who they have to offer. We have a cat, looks like we have a sheep, um, uh, a person, a person, a rabbit, and a bear. And then if we get that surprise item. So it says 50% size. And I believe they had a brand message on this side. So let's look at this. It says the pet hospital. Come for Arts brand was founded in 2020. We take original works of fashion artists as the source, provide rich original works and joint operation schemes of the market. With the tide of infield philosophy, art, design, research, and development, production and operation, we present the trend of fashion with a vision and add new trend cultures to the quality of life in this busy time. Very interesting. And I can appreciate this. So it says that their figures come in the form of 8 inch and 6 inch. It says established in 2020 till forever. That's very hopeful. I, I'm enjoying this brand. Now, it's interesting because here in America, we have recently kind of outsourced the blind bag thing like a lot of people are happy that lol omg and a lot of these other companies are finally deciding not to offer that blind bag series anymore but it looks like this company in china has not gotten rid of it they've just decided to revamp it so now we're going to pull out these cans and as i'm pulling them out i'm starting to feel that some of them have a different weight so I have a feeling that we will be getting a few different characters today. So you see I have everyone out of their packaging. And, you know, we're not going to take all day with these openings. What I'm going to do is I may speed through them. But let's take a look at one of these cans. So on the front you can see it says, Come for Arts Product Pet Hospital. Let's just bring a little bit more light over. Series 1, there may be an 8 inch or 6 inch figure inside. It says, a beer one day, happiness is on the way. That is so, so adorable in a sense. Okay, so it says, come for Arts Pet Hospital. And you have, oh, you have a 50% chance that it's one of these figures. Oh, are there different figures on each can? No, it looks like it is the same figures, but... That's very interesting. I don't know what this warning label is, but it looks like these toys are meant for ages 15 and up. Ooh. Now, I do want to open one of these on camera because I may speed through the rest of them. Let's see what we can get. Is it really? Do I really open these like, like a canned soda? Oh, my gosh. Guys, you guys have to help me out with this. Like... Who's opened these before? Do I open these like a can of soda? Oh, wow. Let's just hope I can figure this out. Okay, so you can see it does have a top, but it doesn't really look like a pop top. Let me see. Oh, it's a twistable. Wait a minute, queen. Wow. It says throw away. Do not eat these. Okay. Wow. Oh, my. Oh. I can already see. Oh, 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 wow. Oh my gosh. Now, this is inventive. Oh, so you have to assemble each character. Oh, wow. Yeah, I may have to speed through this video so we don't, you know, it won't be too drawn out for you guys. But look, oh, oh, there's a little. 
I'm glad I looked in. So look, that's the inside. It's completely emptied. This is so cool. I could see me reusing these. Like even as a little gag gift or something. Or even rehousing some of my figures. Because this is really cool. No one would ever know what type of figure is inside. That's pretty cool. But it looks like this first one we got is Moon. Who seems to be the rabbit based character. This is so cute. Look at Moon. Wow. So what I'm going to do is, oh my goodness, it looks like we get all of these different things. So this is Moon's hands. Looks like we get Moon's pet dog. It looks like we get a Star City. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's open up this other one. Oh wow. Oh my gosh and these are decent size figures i wasn't sure because living inside of a soda can oh my god and her outfit is so cute i wish you guys could feel it like watching through the screen is one thing but feeling them they're so of quality and look at this plush scarf what does that say maui dooey dooey i'm not sure guys you know you gotta let me know <laughs> she oh my god like the outfit is like the hoodie is a thickly made hoodie look at the bag it says the pet hospital wow and then look at her shorts this is cute and these are like of quality items wow okay so what i'm gonna do now which you guys won't be bothered with because i'll show some of it I'm going to speed run through me, opening up each can, and then we're going to take a look at each figure. I'll come back, go over a little detail, and give you guys my thoughts. Because these figures are also articulated extremely well. So, this is a very interesting brand. They just opened up. They're all about incorporating fashion with these animalistic ideas. I'm here for it. So, let's go. So first of all guys, I want to say I'm so happy we don't have any doubles. Moon, Pike, Ruby, Patch, Emma, and Jake. Alright, we are back and I have everyone out of the packaging. And I just want to give a shout out to Come For Arts because this is fantastic. Now, I'm not really sure how to put the sign together, but basically everyone in the collection comes with a different part and how to put their street sign together. And it's supposed to show the star on top, Come For Arts, Pet Hospital, Toys This Way, Coffee, and then there's the last piece that I can't really figure it out. And it's basically the piece saying, Welcome to Star City. And um, everyone here works at the Pet Hospital. So we're gonna look over everyone um, and I'm gonna give them a little backstory of my own because they didn't necessarily come with backstories. But a lot of them did come with secondary hands like these hands belong to Jake. I believe this one came with Emma. I know Emma came with the extra hand. Um, so did Pitch, um, so did Moon, and so did Ruby. So now that we've seen that, let's go over the height. I know a lot of people want to know about the height of these figures, and I was curious about that as well. Now, all of them seem to be in the same realm. They're either seven or seven and a half. So Moon is seven and a half. Pike is just about a little few inches over seven. Ruby is over seven. Pitch is just a few over seven. Emma, because of her hat, she's over seven. And then last is Jake. And Jake, of course, is a little over seven. So they are a decent size figure. So let's go into each figure. So the first one we're going to start with is Moon. Now, Moon is definitely, I would say, more so a fun person who works at the pet hot So Moon comes with their pet dog, which looks really cute. This is just a solid piece. And this is the leash, which feels like a real leash. And they even have a handle for it. Jake comes with this snuggly scarf. And on the side it says Maui Doi Doi. 
and Jake comes with this cute hoodie which is yellow and comes with these strings and on the back you can see it says pet hospital on the elbows you can see <coughs> that they gave Jake a cutout and underneath if you're curious this is what Jake's shorts look like and these figures are fully articulated if you are curious but the thing is moons did I say Jake moons ears cannot move so I wish they could move um, but they can't and look on the front of moon's hoodie it says pet that's so cute moon then moon has white socks and these are moon's tennis shoes which are really really cool now we have to give everyone a job so what do i think will be a good job for moon at the pet hospital well he's obviously or she i think this is a she she is the pet walker so that's why moon came with the pet dog because moon goes out and walks everyone's pets now next up we have the um mascot of the um, pet hospital which is pike pike came with the sign says i'm sad don't talk to me pike is a very emotional character okay you can see the pet costume he put a broken heart on it as a band-aid uh, pike is going through a breakup so it's very hard for pike so you can see this is a very plushy outfit it's very soft there's a zipper on the back uh, underneath you can see um Pike's body. Pike doesn't have any clothes, honey. So I would have to get some clothes that would fit him if I wanted to change him out, which I may do. And of course, if you're curious, our friend Pike does have a face. And as you can see, Pike is a cutie. I love his skin complector. If you're curious, this is one of the hands of the other characters compared to Pike. So you can see Pike is of a darker complector. So I like that they actually are kind of inclusive with this brand. That's really cool. And although he's in the bear suit, Pike is fully functional. So you can move him around and things like that. Pike just is, you know, going through a heartbreak. Pike, it'll be all right. Next up, we have Ruby. And Ruby is our music lover. And Ruby's job at the pet hospital is a therapy for the animals. She has a music room. She does different things with them. Ruby came with this cat. And they made it quite clear that this is a male cat. You guys can see that. It's very cute. It's, it's a static piece, so it doesn't move. And you can see um, Ruby does come with her headphones. Those are a separate piece. And you can see they're just white and black headphones. Not too much detailing, but just enough. And I love Ruby's outfit. First of all, Ruby is not opening her eyes for anyone. Ruby, we got some money. Ruby just won't open her eyes for anything. She's very zen. She's a zen character. Ruby believes peace can solve everyone's problems. Ruby has the black hair with the blue streak in it. And I love that they gave her a real earring. They, um... Ruby cut off her eyebrows, but she does have a little bit of eye makeup on. Hey, Rube. I love her hoodie, and her hoodie actually can fit on her. I love a footy functional. You know, these clothes ain't no joke. Like, if anything, I'm happy that I got this, even if it's just for the clothes. Even if it's just for the clothes. Her hands can literally fit in her pockets. She has functional pockets on her hoodie. Um, she's wearing not one layer, two layers. She has on her shorts, which also has functioning pockets underneath. She has back pockets that are functional pockets. Underneath, they gave her these, um, like, leggings. Like, when, when do we get leggings in seven inch? You see what I'm saying? Look at her shoes. She has the white socks with the black, red, and white tennis shoes on. Ruby is our animal therapist. She's able to put any animal at peace she can train them and teach them everything that's ruby ruby is our resident music therapist at the clinic she can use music to do anything with animals so that's ruby now we're just going to move right on down and now we're going to look at peach or patch i think that it's p-e-t-c-h patch like fetch her name is patch so she's actually you know she's the 
you know, it's kind of hard for me to decide what Petra's career is going to be. She's so friendly. She's a volunteer. She volunteers there and she, she brings in six animals. So this animal came with Petch. You can see it's a cat who's a little banged and bruised. But Petch finds them. That's why Petch is the local volunteer. She brings in lost animals that she finds on the curb. You can see she has on her boots, her slickers, because she's outside a lot. Um, if you guys want to see some of the joints, because she has on those shorts, you can see some of the joints there. It's a single bin. It's really cool. Her shorts are black. Her shirt is white. And it just says Pet on it. She has a cool purse with an eyeball on it. One eyeball is yellow. And... The purse is fully functional. Fully functional, darling. I can believe it. It's fully functional. This is our home girl. Um, what's her name? Patch. And on top, you can see that her hair is brown and it's leading down to more of like a reddish color at the bottom. Her hoodie does go on. This is a company that believes in functional goods. And on the back, you can see it says pathogen. Is that what it says? Pathogen? Oh, Pathetique child. If you know what that says, please write it in the comment section below. Patch playing games. Go, go back to the lineup, Patch. She's really pretty. You could barely see her mouth on camera, but she's smiling. Uh -huh. You guys don't worry about that. She's quite happy. She goes out in the rain and collects animals and brings them back to the pastel. So now we're going into some of the more serious jobs. We have Emma down here. And Emma, she's the head nurse. Some call her the head nurse in charge. Now here we have Emma. Emma came with um, a secondary hand that you can put her needle prop in. She came with her thestoscope with a comb and scissors. Like, she's so interesting. She's so stern looking. And I'm actually not sure what type of animal she is. I thought she was a sheep. But I'm not sure. Her hair is like a soft blue color. And look how they cut the detailing in the back. That's really, really cool. Her hat is on. Can't remove that. Um, she's very cute. I love the material that they made her hospital jacket out of. And you can close it if you want, just like that. She has pockets and everything going down to her shoes with the pet symbols on them. Very cute, Emma. Emma is very serious, though. I can see it in her face. And I find it interesting. I know this is an independent company, but look how they managed to get that needle in there so slickly. Like, it just looks like Emma. They said, you know, Emma, someone came in and their their animal has to put be put to sleep. And Emma will say, I have no problem doing this. Bring the animal to thee. Like, it seems like she just wouldn't have a problem doing it. Who knows? On the front of her thing, it says pet hospital. And, you know, it's just, if we look, lift it up, it's a shawl. Not a shawl, but like an apron. And it pins in the back. It has really shorts, real shorts, everything separate. And on the back, her says free. Does it say free? It says free, and it has the same symbol as the hospital. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm very surprised to see that because Emma seems like the type that collects all coins. But Emma may just be the type that will do the hard job that others can. Now last but not least, we have our snooty receptionist, Jake. Yes, Jake just gives me snooty receptionist vibes. So this is the cat that came with Jake. And once again, it's another male cat. And they made it quite obvious. This cat is so cute. It is another static piece. Now here we have Jake. Jake is a sassy receptionist that lets you know your animal won't be ready by three. Jake, you told me an hour. Make it two. Oh, Jake! Jake is quite sassy. Jake comes with these boots, the stockings, these shorts, which are uh, awesomely made. Like, this... Getting six of these in that case was definitely worth it. This is very, very cool. Um, Jake is also wearing a sweater, which is nicely made. And this is coming from me, and you guys know I collect dolls as well. This is a quality good. This... Mm, let me just show you guys. It's enough talking. Just look at this. You guys have to understand the quality goods of all. Jake also has the collar going with the bell. So you always know where Jake is. He's quite sneaky. And then this is Jake's face. Blue eyes. Gray white cat. 
very cute now i'm not new to the world of humanoids humanoids are basically animals and figures that um replicate humans but we know it's not of the human realm now one figure that i wanted to compare to them that i um got not too long ago that's a kind of humanoid is the tossa tossa line this one is meow meow so you can see that this is um, a cat hybrid type figure and then we have jake over here so you can kind of see they're almost in scale but they're not in scale and that's simply because jake is seven inches and the tossa tossa i believe is eight so let me make sure and this one is from out figure collectors yeah he's eight and a half so quite larger but not too bad off like if i really wanted them to be in the same world there's a possibility they could be in the same world now what do i think of these toys as a brand well they're pretty cool they can stand on their own if you position them well um i really i really am excited about this i want more they have this another line out with the beach they have a beach line out but this is so exciting for me um a lot of people who watch my channel you know that i love to create and i'm very much so an idealist and like watching them and knowing that all of them work together it gives me ideas so who knows i may come up with a short film and put it online or whatever but it's just exciting you know we have moon who's the animal walker we have pike which is the mascot we have ruby who's the you know the therapist for the animals we have petch who's the volunteer we have emma the head nurse in charge we have jake the sassy receptionist and it's like they all work together to manage to run this beautiful hospital in star city like i think that's so cool it really excites me um who is my favorite out of today's haul I don't know. I'm just happy that I was able to get all six of the options. I did not get any repeats, thank God. But I also didn't get the mysterious character. Um, it's really cool because some people who find the mysterious characters, they'll post them. But I don't know who found this one yet. I don't know who this character is. But it would be nice to find out. But I'm even more thankful I didn't get any repeats because seeing as though these can get kind of expensive, like these alone, um, I think if you would buy them alone, it's like $50 a can. This is in the U.S. Um, I know they sell this set on the, the site Big Bad Toy Store and they and I got mine from the site Toy Open. I got a whole case though. I didn't want to buy $50 per can and not and end up with doubles. So I just got a whole case. I figured it was a better chance that I would get one each and I did. I'm so excited. If you guys have any questions today, let me know by leaving me a comment. I do have a personal goal on my channel. I want to get to 5k. So if you can like the video, share, and subscribe, that will really help my channel out a lot. Um, I really love these figures and I can't wait to figure out what I'm going to do with them. And you guys got to stick around because I don't know if I'm going to find a cute outfit for Pike so that he can go out on a date. So we can get him a cute girlfriend or something. You know, maybe Ruby can help him. The girls can help dress up um, Pike. And, you know, who knows? We got to follow that story because I just may do it. You know me crazy enough to get him a cute outfit um get the fellas of tossa tossa to you know come over and take him out i think that would be cute because jake i mean pike is very sad and the guys are gonna take him out and look jake is coming too jake you wanna come me out mm -hmm. jake can't wait but i want to thank you guys for watching today i will see you in my next video Stay away, stay away from me, stay away, stay away, away, away. Sometimes it's easier to say, stay away, away, away. Sometimes that's easier to say, just stay here with me, be here with me, vibe with me, stay with me, and you'll see. Sometimes it's easier to say, stay away. Stay away from me instead of be with me, vibe with me.
Embrace me and someday you shall see That the one you thought was cool Is warm as a blanket Snuggled up at night with me Wrapped up tight with me Who? Yes, it's who? Stay away Who? Who? Sometimes Stay away it's the easiest thing to say and say stay here with me be here with me baby i miss you come back home sometimes it's harder than say stay away stay away 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 sometimes it's easier to say stay away 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 sometimes that's the easiest thing to say instead of stay with me vibe with me be with me and someday you will see that person you were told is so icy cold is the warmest person in the world to be around stay with me it's hard to say sometimes the easiest thing to say stay away